coming back. What you were reconnected to your last game, resuming? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just rebooted. What is this? Are we going to get to play Hearthstone tonight? I don't know. Well, that was great advice. I forgot cover letters were a thing. Shadow Snow! Oh, the cover letter is like the most important part. Anytime someone submits, the cover letter says, here's what you should be gleaning from the resume, right? Like if you're applying to a coding position and you're like, I have worked on a project writing matchmaking for video games, specifically Hearthstone, and it successfully occasionally matches people. And I have done work at a number of other companies doing matchmaking. And as a result, I would be really good at what you're doing, which is matchmaking, right? And then what happens is they open your resume and they go, damn, Shadows didn't lie. He has more experience here than I anticipated. Fuck. Come on. This is not... I can't do a show if I can't play a game. I guess we better hang out here for a little bit. Trollfoot says, do you have any advice for people who are not very qualified? Go out and create qualifications. I want to apply for... Oh, I don't know. Um... I always use boot manufacturing. Like, I don't know why that's like my go-to example. I think it's because it's weird and I don't know anything about it. But you might be like, I want to apply to a job at a boot manufacturing plant. Or let's say a boot design company. I, I am here, I want to design boots for you. But I've never made boots before. Go out and make a boot for God's sake. You can get the materials, you can build the boot, and you can be like, hey, I want to apply for your position. Here are four different boots I've made. And you can see how I constructed them in a step-by-step -step photo album that I produced. But if you're looking for the quick things, here they are, and I think I would be an asset to your company because look at how similar my boot style is to your boot style. <gasps> Amazing, right? I want to do graphics programming, but I've never programmed before. How would I show that I have qualifications? Well, go create a series of complex rendering engines, right? Do Show some cool shaders. Build a game that has a lot of graphics intensity and try to figure out how the game can showcase cool graphics and then say to people, hey, I'm a self-taught programmer with a specialization in graphics. Here's a game I built to showcase the cool shaders um, that demonstrate my capability. And then, boom, they're going to open it and go, holy shit, this kid knows how to make some fucking shaders. And then, like, that is way better information than, I received a 3.8 GPA in my graphics college program. And I have an experience with graphic, like that, fuck that man, I want to see a thing you made. Go make first class information. Um, I'm not going to get to play, I don't know if we close again. This is boot shit, says New Sunshine. GPAs are pointless, don't do that. Yeah, let me tell you something. There are a few things I'm going to look less at than a GPA if I'm hiring. Oh my god. My GPA was 4 I don't care. My GPA was 2 0 I don't care. I didn't go to college, I don't care. Show me. Hey! Yeah. Show me some first class information, you know what I mean? Show me some first class information. Boom.
You see, Green 1608 says, I love that a portfolio is a requirement for graduation at my grad school. That's exactly right. Like, here is my work. Look at my work. Look at the thing that I made. And I'm going to tell you how the thing that I made translates directly to the thing that you're making. I'm going to hold on to it. You forgot to take a break. No, I didn't. Done. Aaron Two A says massive disclaimer on that. If you want to work for a big company, most will still weed out based on GPA. Of course, of course. Like there's a lot of things that people will do as filtering mechanisms because it's so hard to sift through all that stuff. CPU dude started dating a new person due to some dating advice. Love it, CPU dude. Love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This would be ten. This would be ten. Boop. Shadow says, How powerful do you feel volunteer experiences are that will show off your management skills? I've been voted as VP and chairman of a number of uh, organizations and is the core of my management experience outside of owning my own company. Shadows, you sound you sound a little bit like a badass, man. I like what I'm hearing. <gasps> there it is. Alright, let's hurry up and not die. I think that makes sense, yeah. I mean, as long as it's framed that way. Like, if... If you're framing it as... Oh my god, yeah. If you're framing it as like, Hey! I worked at a charity. I'm a good person, see? Value my character. Now hire me. Like, I don't I don't care at all about that. Reporting but if you're saying something like, hey, if you're interested in knowing about my capabilities as a manager, look at this. I think you know, I think you know, I think you know. I think you know. Don't silence it, Disgenix. <laughs> I dream and the world trembles. I have overkill in the world. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even need to do it. Oh yeah. Is this the fishing tournament? No healing for you, son. Ah, uh, yes. Oof. The scourge will consume you. Oh. oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Today I learned. Today I learned the hard way. 
The headless horseman rides tonight, he rides mm. upon the wind. Galloping, galloping, galloping into the great oblivion. Oh! Yes! Nothing happened! My Boom! Cub Bam! Ugh! Quickly! I can't play a healer now. I'm so bad. Oh my god. He's bad. Oh, we're going to lose, man. Shit. He's just going to consecrate and we're dead. Uh I don't I'm not I can't even. It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to do it, man. I'm not even going to do it. I'm so I'm emergency bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. I was just it hurt too much. It hurt too much. Oh shit, man. I'm not used to just having too much stuff, you know? I'm not, I don't know what that feels like. Eek. Eek. Run away. Oh god, that's uh, he's uh Gul'dan versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine! Oh god, oh Jesus. I think I want to get some shadow flames in here. I'm keeping the anti heal bot. Quickly take a break, take a break. Guys, we're on a break! Uh... They became two eights, what do you mean? And then I hit a thing with six, they're two twos, he consecrates, he wins, it sucks. Hurts. How's TwitchCon? TwitchCon was amazing. <laughs> Shut the stream down! I'm not a streamer! I don't stream. Do you stream? I certainly don't stream. Taunts became 2 8s. Consecrate would not have killed them. They would have absolutely killed them. They took 6 damage from that dude because they were 2 2s. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Just keep drawing. What is the streaming you speak of? I don't stream. I'm not a streamer. No. No, and if you looked up a record of that, you would, you would find nothing because it doesn't exist because I don't stream, so don't look it up. Brolic, what is up? Hmm. Some power rollings will help take care of those big things. I the sense that I'm getting from the humans in chat is that I should run some power rollings. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll make that change. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'm a douchebag. What about that, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I, I like an implosion here. I think an implosion is pretty tight. Grumpy puppy resubbing every single month. Boom. Oh my god. Unleash the hounds, go. Was there a picture of an orange cat on stream earlier? Kazoo Bluer Guard? No! We should run some mountain giants and some molten giants. <laughs> Little big eleven. Yeah, get out of here, mad scientist. Go baga off. This is gonna be the first one. We're gonna win this first one.
Grumpy Puppy is awesome talking to you, TwitchCon. No, you. Look at that. Look how adversarial I am. You think it was nice talking to me? No, it was nice talking to you. Don't give me that shit. <laughs> oh, it was my pleasure. No, it wasn't. It was my pleasure. It wasn't your pleasure. <laughs> Where are the kitties tonight? I don't know. I don't know. I think the kitties are high. Back from the junk heap. Anytime someone says my pleasure, I challenge them. I'm like, oh, is it? Are you sure it isn't my pleasure? By the power of, By the power of sweet swag and Ragnaros. So as a bee it says, come to Australia and have brunch. Maybe I will. I don't know. Can't tell. You're not gonna win it this time. Boom! Keep that sludge belcher to yourself, Mike Train. Ah, uh, the opportunity says, just got in. What's the win condition for this deck? The win condition is as follows. Get a billion bread steeds. Thoughts? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts? I think that's a good win condition. Ka. Boom. I don't want to run this nerd out yet. I think what I'm feeling is that I don't have enough creatures. Il n'y a pas de creatures. Adonzo says this deck seems to be struggling against early flooding. Seems like it needs more Doomsayer. I feel fine. Look at this. I'm doing good, man. I'm nailing it. Ah. Little does this nerd know? I'm a turtle. I'm gonna go double Ganus, man. You ready for the double Gan? It can't be. Ugh. Back to the Dreadsteed plan. Not enough turtle for Turtle Club, says Dr. Don Bon Doom. Just enough turtles. <sighs> Leah says, I am here, had to go to Costco, and it took so long. It's all good, man. Let me tell you something. Costco is a sort of magical place. It's pony time. Lady Lecta. Oh, shit, Lady Lecta. The queen of the hype. All these excellent humans I saw this weekend. It's wonderful. Did you know that I am a turtle? Tuinaga says, I think you should hold on to the Malganus to flood the board with Dreadsteed so they get the 2 2 bonus. I mean, I know. This is how I'm gonna do it, you know? Quickly. Oh, that's my dogs. Ugh. Prepare to die. I'm gonna cut this crap card. That's my dogs. Ugh. Ugh. Cycle a card. God, I'm so bossed that way. Kill this one too. Oh. So many HPs. Twisting Nether, overkill them. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, run out two Dreadsteeds, insta overkill. I love how Little Big Eleven, every time I play a anti-heal bot, types back from the junk heap. 
and back from the comes up really quickly, and then there's a long pause and it's chunky. That apparently takes a little time. It's like no big deal. I'm like not that torn up about that. That's like okay. I'm fine. I'm like okay with that and fine with that, and it like does not upset me really that much that much at all. My shield for Argon. Take this and like take that, you know? Like it doesn't really matter to me. I'm gonna shoot this one, it's like okay, you know? It like doesn't matter to me that much. I'm gonna life tap, it's like okay. I'm gonna heal myself, you know? I'm gonna kill this one one, because it's like an explosive trap and that's okay, you know? Back from the junk heap. I'm not used to him having three Unleash the Hounds, it sucks. He's back. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Into the Bam! Bomb! Boom! Bam! Shazak! Oh, in the face? Really? Really? <laughs> oh my god, really? Both in the face for a billion? Oh my god, am I gonna lose, man? Oh, come on! They both hit the face! That's why I run Dread Seeds, man! Oh, he said hello! I'm so fucked! Do I stream? No, Sean doesn't stream. I haven't seen him stream in a long time. Alright, we're on a break. We'll be back. There we go. This taste in music's pretty good, though.